$170 group set from AliExpress. Could this thing be any good? All the items were professionally packaged and it arrived on time. The group set I ordered is a U6000. It's a 10 speed group set. Taking a look at the derailleur, it looks identical to a 12 speed Dior, but it has a little barrel adjuster on top. Nice, they have little B tension lines here. The clutch tension is very strong. Popping the clutch cover off, you've got the Shimano standard clutch in there. You can adjust it for tighter or looser tension. The 1048 cassette weighs one pound, seven ounces. If we compare it to a 12 speed Sunrace cassette at 1.7, they're almost identical. The 10 speed cassette has two loose cogs and a full steel spider. Those two lower cogs are supposed to be more enhanced for durability and they're replaceable. The only reason I ordered those crank sets was because I was afraid of compatibility issues with my SRAM crank set but let me tell you, the link guide chain goes perfectly on the SRAM chain ring. I decided to put this Shimano U6000 on my e-bike to give it a good torture test because if it can survive an e-bike, it's gonna survive a regular bike. Installing these parts on the bike was identical to 12-speed Shimano, so it's fairly easy. We got that barrel adjuster back there, but don't touch that during installation. I did my best on this piece of cable to make it less tension as possible. The 10-speed shifter is bolt-on only. There's no options to put that on your Shimano brakes. This is the Shimano SST service tool bungee cord. Clamping the cable down, everything is very easy. The Shimano link light cassettes are HG driver only. Only. If you plan on putting this on an e-bike, make sure you have a steel free body or it will get roasted like this one. Sizing the chain is identical to 12 speed. I will leave a link in the description to the Shimano's official website. Comparing the size chain to my existing Eagle chain, it runs a little bit longer chain on the Shimano system. I got everything bolted together and I couldn't make this thing shift right to save my life. Busted out the derailleur hanger straightening tool. Spent a half hour trying to straighten the derailleur hanger. Still could not make that thing shift. Trying to rule out my mechanical abilities, I bought a brand new derailleur hanger from Specialized and I'm gonna put it on the bike and see if it shifts. After installing a new derailleur hanger, it was able to shift through all the gears. It's a 10-speed drivetrain that basically uses a 12-speed derailleur. The tolerances are not your typical 10-speed. This thing takes a lot of fine-tuning to get it shifting correctly. I got it shifting through all the gears, but I wasn't particularly satisfied in how it was shifting. Upon closer inspection, this is what the derailleur looks like from brand new. There's quite a bit of slop in the derailleur housing body. This is like a $26 derailleur, so don't complain too much. It shifts pretty good going up the cassette, not satisfied with the shifting going down the cassette. Going towards the smaller gears, there's quite a bit of a delay. After countless hours of adjusting the derailleur, swapping in a new wheel, changing the shift cable, playing with the tension, I was unable to make it shift any quicker. Now, whereas Hyperguide focuses on lightweight and the smoothest shifting possible, Link Glide is all about maximum durability. Link Glide prioritizes durability and not speed of shifting. It has larger cogs that aren't going to shift as fast as a 12 speed. I found by leaving the cable tension very slack, that was the best I could make it shift. This is the e-bike durability test. I'm in full turbo cranking as hard as I can, shifting the gears. After a half a mile of apocalyptic shifting, everything survived. I was able to get the shifting back in order very quickly with the barrel adjuster located on the derailleur. This is a very handy tool because it's got a lot of adjustment. The chain retention is very tight. I removed my chain guide to see if the chain would fall off. No way. Absolutely no noise out of the chain over rock gardens. Close inspection of the cassette after shifting like an idiot. Everything looks absolutely normal. That simulated thousands of miles of wear. 
This cassette is gonna go the distance. I want you to take a listen between the clicks on the shifter and when the gear engages. The good news about this derailleur, it makes your bike absolutely silent. The performance to dollar ratio on the Shimano U6000 is very impressive. I will be doing a long-term review and upgrade on this drivetrain later down the line.